standard Griffith snap utilizes Grizzly for the hackle or the flotation. But what we're going to do today is show you an option in using CDC and creating the same fly. Getting started here, we'll put in a standard dry fly hook, which has a ring eye. We're going to attach our thread and wrap back here. Then we can tie in some peacock curl. And again, I just grab it from the top. That way you're more insured of getting a lot better quality peacock versus some that happen to be a little sparse on the fiber side. Get our CDC tied in here. Now we're going to form our loop in our thread. So we just pull down. Close up that loop and we'll go back to the bend of the hook. Now we can bring our thread forward so it's out of our way. Now we're going to put the stonefly loop dubber in here. What that does, it's going to keep the loop open, yet it, when we're ready we can close it up. Now basically what we're going to be doing is taking some CDC and loop dubbing it. You can put the fibers in and then just cut it off. Or an easier way to do it is to first use some material clips. So I've already put some CDC in, into the material clips. That way all I have to do is slide it in, let the pull down on the loop dubber so the threads caught it twist it a little bit so it doesn't fall out and I can add a little more CDC just to make sure that I don't run out as I wrap it down the hook shank. Again, twist it up a little bit. Since we're doing this in a fairly good size hook, we'll just add one more clip full of CDC. just to ensure that we have enough in there. Now we're going to twist the thread fairly tight. All you got to do is give it a quick little spin. Making sure that CDC won't pull out of the thread. And then what I like to do is we now we're going to lay our peacock right in there too. You could do it with the loop dubber if you prefer, but I like taking it off. And just twisting it all together with my fingers. One way to make it easier to twist is just put a little saliva on your fingers. And it just gives you a little more grip to twist. And as I do that, you can see the CDC stand right out from the peacock. And the peacock fibers actually stand out from its stems as well. So we just start wrapping it forward and with each wrap you pull the CDC back and just take one wrap right in front of the other and we do this right down the hook shank till we get up to the hook eye. Just keep about one more turn. Since we're about there, we'll just tie this one off. And we're ready to snip off that excess. See if I can do without cutting my thread this time. Just build up a thread head. And we're ready to whip finish it off. Again, if you're so used to use the tool, that's fine. I just like to use the fingers. And cut off our thread. And what you end up with is CDC that's palmered through or 
stuck right into the peacock, making it look like it's actually a part of the peacock. And you actually get a fairly buggy looking grip of snap, which also works pretty well when you just sink the fly too and use it kind of as an emerger. The Griffith snat is basically used as an adult midge cluster pattern, but it works great on brookies just about any time of year and any of your tailwater fisheries and spring creeks. And this is what I like to call the CDC Griffith snat.